Thank you, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank Dr. Veed and the organizing committee to have me again to present these data. These are my conflicts of interest. Uh, we heard before and all know the vessel overlay techniques are created to have per procedural 3D overlay on the screen image. It will facilitate ender procedures and it is aimed to reduce radiation, contrast and procedural time. In our institution we have two hybrid ORs from Philips and we work with the vessel navigator since three and a half years now and we were the first center in the Netherlands to use CIDAR only just recently and we were able to compare nine EVAR cases having both systems in-house. This is the setup we tested. As you can appreciate on the left side you can see the CIDAR system, on the right side the Philips vessel navigator and you can see that the CIDAR system uh, screen is smaller so later on we switched to also put the CIDAR on the Philips screen, as you can see here. Well, the, fast, uh, the, uh, the Philips system, you need to have your uh, staff manually import and upload the CTA images. And as you can see here, you need an X-ray from uh, two sides so you can merge these images with the pre-uploaded CTA. And after pre-uploading, this is what you see, if, for example, if you introduce a device uh, during the procedure. As you heard, with the former speaker CIDAR Medical is uploaded preemptively in the cloud. It uses the patient's skeleton as the frame of reference for, at that moment, the, the rigid overlay. And the computer vision continuously match watches the X-ray images on the screen. And if it can confidentially identify two or more vertebrae, a 3D overlay automatically appears, as you've seen just before. It maintains accurate and reliable throughout the procedure and doesn't get tired. So let's have a look at some of the procedural images. Uh, this is CIDAR before image uh, on the left side and Philips before uh, the NGO uh, uh, on the right side. Um, CIDAR after the NGO and Philips after NGO. And if you can see what we can do, if we can adjust the CIDAR and we're now focusing only on the iliac bifurcation, you can see the difference after adjusting. This is an example of how we uh, did it before we had the overlay techniques. We made a drawing on the screen, as you can see here. And as you can see, it probably you see a device up too high if you were to rely on what you were used to draw on the screen. And it's very nicely uh, shown with the CIDAR system as the automated uh, um, rings of the orifice are shown here. And you can see that device is nicely below the renal. So you gain absolutely um, some coverage in the proximal neck. Also seen less better uh, visualized, uh, although with the Philips system. And here's, for example, how you adjust that uh, in the Philips system, you have to take the overlay. And if you want to, for example, uh, focus on the hypergastric artery, you see that there in the, uh, the lower part is a bit of a mismatch. And then you draw it uh, back again. And you see that the mismatch proximally is there with the Philips. Um, and it is not with the CIDAR system, as you can see on the left part. It's before the iliac adjustment. And on the right side, it's after the iliac adjustment. And the rest of the uh, aorta uh, remains good. And, uh, and the same. So if we compare the price of Philips is less when compared to CIDAR, I think it's uh, more user friendly, the CIDAR system, it's uh, more accurate. At this moment, Philips supports the TVAR system and CIDAR doesn't, but will change in the near future. Uh, I think they all reduce these systems, radiation, contrast, and OR time. Uh, as you heard, it works in every theater for CIDAR and Philips, so of course, only in their own theater. Uh, what I think is a pro of Philips is that you have a continuous position of uh, the information without radiation. So you do not need radiation to see uh, where the overlay is uh, when you move the C-arm. And of course, you have the automated O-ring at the orifice with CIDAR, and it's supported by artificial intelligence. Uh, as I asked Philips what the future will bring, they said, well, you can expect some improvements without going into detail. This is the future of CIDAR, uh, artificial enable enabled planning tool is expected in February 2020. Improved guidance, it will be faster in the future. Uh, there will be an automated deformation correction. It will provide analy analytics for follow-up CT analysis. And it will bring the planning, the guidance, and the outcome analytic, analytics together and will make it also available for TVAR. So in conclusion, I think they're both supportive in EVAR cases, both better than without an overlay technique. Philips Fessel Navigator is cheaper and CIDAR can be used in every theater. 
and it is fully automated and even gets smarter over time, which I think is a big pro. And due to the artificial intelligence platform, there's more to be expected from CIDR in the near future. Thank you.